I was living with my mom and she got evicted. And she had somewhere to go, but we did not. She took us to the fire station in Irving and the people at the fire station actually contacted the Salvation Army Emergency Women's Lodge to get us housing. I was six months pregnant with my youngest. We all went through the motions. We cried at one point and, you know, we prayed together. And I just told them this is just something we have to go through because I wasn't in a position to work or make money or have money to provide for them. Before then, I was working and got laid off. I had my own apartment, but I got let go of my job. And, you know, I relied on my family a lot. It was a back and forth cycle. I exhausted all my resources. I felt helpless. I felt ashamed. I felt low. Um, not knowing where my kids' next meal was coming from. Uh, not knowing where they were gonna lay their heads. And I've always been a responsible person and doing what I need to do to keep me afloat. So for me to get to that point, it just hurt. I ended up staying at the Salvation Army for nine months. I went from being an emergency client to a mother with children in an actual room. There was a lot of different programs and resources to go through to actually get you where you need to be. I became a teacher working for Head Start of Greater Dallas November 7, 2016. And they gave me the opportunity because I had my associate's degree. Um, they took a chance on me and being new to the environment of taking me step by step on the process of becoming a great teacher, which I am now, and allowed me to pay my bills and take care of my kids. It's always hard being a single mom. Going to work, coming home, doing homework, cooking, cleaning, taking care of myself, it's all a struggle. But the joy is when you see your children progressing the way that they need to have become independent again. And to see the looks on my kids' faces when they seen that they have their own room and we're not cramped up in a small space from the Salvation Army, it was liberating. Salvation Army helped me to realize that it's not over until you want to give up and you want to stop. And for them, I will never stop. I will never give up. I will keep pushing until I can't push no more.